the ozone layer. In this video we're going to look at the importance of the ozone layer and the impact of the depletion of the ozone layer. We're going to start off by thinking about what actually happens in the ozone layer, what it does. So in the top left of the screen you've got the sun and the sun is shining at the earth which is surrounded by a layer of gas called the atmosphere. About 32 kilometers upwards from the surface of the earth is quite a thin layer of gas called the ozone layer. The ozone layer is made up of a gas called ozone. Ozone is O3, three atoms of oxygen, whereas normal oxygen is just O2, two atoms of oxygen. So what happens is the sun emits UV radiation. Quite a lot of that UV radiation is high energy and quite dangerous. So as that UV radiation impacts the ozone layer, the ozone layer absorbs most of that harmful UV radiation. So only a very small amount is able to then pass through to the earth, causing very little damage to us. So we take a look at what actually happens in this part here, where the UV radiation impacts the molecules of ozone. So here's my molecule of ozone. You can see it's O3. So my harmful UV radiation comes in. It's absorbed by the ozone, and the ozone breaks into two smaller parts. Oxygen, which is O2, this molecule here, and then a free atom of oxygen here. And this is a reversible process. So it's absorbed that UV radiation, split into two. It can now recombine this free oxygen atom and the molecule of oxygen, O2, to make ozone again. This is now able to absorb some more ultraviolet radiation and protect the Earth even more. We'll now think about what would happen if there were to be, for example, a hole, a break in the ozone layer. So that harmful UV radiation would still be coming from the sun, and there would be now nothing to stop that from reaching the surface of the Earth. Remember, this is harmful, this is high energy. It's likely to cause um, ionizing effects for skin cells, potentially leading to skin cancer. So this is um, something that we don't particularly want to happen. And the reason why we might have a break or a hole in the ozone layer is because of a type of gas called a chlorofluorocarbon. And it's a gas that contains chlorine, you can see that there, the Cl, fluoro, these bits here, and it also contains carbon. You can shorten this name, chlorofluorocarbon, to CFC. And CFC gases react with the ozone molecules in the atmosphere and turn them back into oxygen, normal O2 molecules. These molecules don't absorb UV radiation, so the harmful radiation can pass through the atmosphere and reach the surface of the Earth. There are currently two large areas of very little ozone in the Earth. One is above the South Pole and one is above the North Pole. And these are caused largely by these kind of gases. Okay, So around this area here, the harmful UV radiation is able to reach the surface of the Earth. Fortunately for us, this isn't where we live. This is around the South Pole, which is largely uninhabited. However, we don't want these gases to be admitted sorry, emitted into the atmosphere and cause more or further damage to the ozone layer. 